Good afternoon, everyone. We're coming to you live again from the Mid-American Energy RecPlex construction site. My name is Shane Ratcliffe. I'm the general manager here at the RecPlex, and we're excited to bring you some updates on the construction right here from the ground. As you know, construction's moving along, and we're still on pace to open up in early January of 2021. We're excited to show you that we have our first finished sports surface. As we talked about last time, crews have been working on these outdoor synthetic fields. We have three synthetic fields on the property. All these fields are 360 feet long by 250 feet wide. I'm standing right now on field number one. You can see that the fields have inlaid lines for a full-size soccer field. Our staff will also be adding additional lines by the time spring and we open up for these fields we'll be having boys and girls lacrosse as well as football with portable goal posts and some cross soccer fields for 7v7 and 5v5 just some features of these fields you can see this protective netting on the ends here it's 60 feet wide by 20 feet tall keep balls from going down in the slough behind here on the south side of the property as well as this four foot tall chain link fence. These fields will be rentable by the hour. We will have lighting installed in the next couple weeks so all three of these fields can be used essentially year round minus some snow and cold but if you really want to go for it we'll rent it to you. So rentable year round multiple sports we can add lines remove lines as needed. We'll have sidewalks all along the building here. So that way families and players can get access all the way around the fields. We're gonna have wireless internet out on these fields. That'll be mounted onto the, the light poles. So wireless internet for anyone that wants it. Something for little brother, little sister to do when, when players are out here playing. As we work, walk in here, you can see crews are continuing to button up this west side of the field house. These little three areas that are still open are bump outs. Downspouts are very close to being completed along with the gutters. We'll walk into the southwest corner of the field house here. And you can see crews are making great progress. Right now, I'm standing in what we are calling our warm-up area slash batting cages. This area right here is going to have four drop-down batting cages that can be retractable one at a time or all four down. We'll have one tunnel that's going to be 68 feet long by 12 feet wide and three tunnels that'll be 50 feet long by 12 feet wide. This is going to be a turf area with a divider curtain between it and the main field area. As I walk this way to the east, we're going to have three pickleball courts with a poured in place rubberized surface. Those pickleball courts will be full sized with divider curtains on all three on three of the sides and a hard wall on the fourth. They'll be able to be rented by the hour. We'll be running some leagues, working with local organizations, provide a great pickleball opportunity for everyone. As I continue to walk to the east here, we're going to have a basketball court, full-size, 94-foot long basketball court. Four retractable baskets in here, scoreboard, sound system, that can be rented again by the hour, rented by, for tournaments, drop-in. As I get further to the corner here, this is a really exciting space. Courage League Sports is gonna have an office and a programming room right here in this corner. They'll have access out to this fourth court, which is gonna have a rubberized surface, which is great for their athletes and their wheelchairs to use. They'll have their own entrance from the, to the outside. On the second floor here is gonna be one of our three meeting room spaces. It's gonna be called the Overlook Room. We've got 2,500 square feet up there that's going to be it's going to have a set of stairs that come right down into this area 
We're going to have kids camps, parents night out, groups like that, summer programming. That'll be able to stay up there. They can do arts and crafts and they come right down here and utilize this space. As I said, we've got a basketball court, three pickleball courts, and a batting cage area, warm-up area, all on this end. As we continue to walk through the main area, you'll see that crews are making great progress. On the walls, that's what's called an interior liner panel, those metal panels. Once crews get all that up, they'll finish installing lights, paint the columns, and then we're ready to lay down some turf. All along the top, there's going to be a mezzanine area. That mezzanine will be a place for everyone to sit and watch the events that are going on here. We'll have some restrooms up there. We'll have a concession stand, an auxiliary stand, some televisions, viewing areas. So whether you're watching the court or the field, you'll be able to see and have something, to, a place to hang out. You can see as we approach the north end of the building, crews are continuing to, to put in all the, the mason work. I'm going to cut across over here towards the main arena. As you all know, we got a lot of rain last week, so it's still a little wet out here, unfortunately. But luckily, we've got the hardest working crew in the state, so they're, they're plugging away all through the mud and the muck. You can see right now what the progress is being made. We've got underground electrical, underground plumbing, water lines, all being stubbed in. It's a very important part of the progress because once this stuff is complete, then we start laying interior slabs. Once the slabs have been laid, crews will get in here and start blocking up the interior walls. You can see all those orange pipes are drain lines, floor drains, water lines that will all be mounted into the walls of the spaces. I'll continue to walk through here avoiding these pitfalls. And in the main arena, you can see the same thing. This is a water line that runs all the way through that crews are getting ready to finalize so they can get interior slabs poured. Once the interior slabs are poured and everything is dried out, our arena people will get in here, our rink tech people will get in here and start clearing out the ground to install their lines. And you see they've got interior liner panel all along the top. Crews are installing it. It's that white liner panel. Fun little fact about this interior liner panel. A lot of sports arenas are, are built out of this, youth sports arenas, and they're built out of this metal material. One of the problems with this, the metal material is that the sound bounces around. It's a big open space. You'll see what we have here is that it's actually perforated. So you can see right through it. And what that, that's designed to do is absorb the sound. So this will be a great building for both players and especially spectators. So they don't have to sit and listen to the pounding of the, the, the pucks or the balls bouncing all around. Because these panels will help to absorb some of that sound. As we continue to walk through the main arena, you can see again more underground work. This room right here is our electrical room as you can see by all the electrical lines that are going to get ran in here and stubbed out. Doesn't look that fun, but a very important part of the progress and the process. More underground work, water lines being installed, crews getting ready just to backfill it and start laying interior slabs. This is the arena support area. Again, you've got more pipes sticking up. Those are floor drains. Those are plumbing drains, all for the bathrooms that are gonna be in both the locker rooms as well as the public areas. We'll walk over here towards arena two.
You can see crews have the interior liner panel is essentially done here. So this building, you'll see, this is what it's gonna end up like. We'll have some painted columns, some interior high output sports lighting, and an ice rink. Definitely can start seeing what the progress is gonna look like, what the arena is gonna look like. More mud, but crews continue to work through it. As we walk towards the commons area up front, just a reminder, follow our Facebook page. We've got a new website, therecplex.com, that's being built right now. We are gonna start hiring some staff here in the next coming months. We've got an operations coordinator position that we're gonna be have interviews at the 1st of October. Right now, we just published a guest services coordinator position. Check it out on our Facebook page. You can see a link Everything goes to the City of West Des Moines website. That guest services coordinator position will be responsible for all food and beverage, programming, camps, clinics, marketing, social media. As we walk our way out here into the commons area, you can see more progress. We actually have the start of a roof. So you can see, I'm standing in the northeast corner of the space. As we work over here, you can see this is going to be the Des Moines University physical therapy space. Their main entrance is going to be right off of this vestibule here. This is about 5,000 square feet of space that they're going to have and be providing physical therapy and rehabilitation services. They're going to be available for our tournaments. They're going to be available for both interior and inside and outside tournaments, as well as drop-ins. As we walk into the commons area again, you can see the main arena support staff areas. We've got the RP grill, which will be right here, this first window. We've got a skate return, an equipment checkout, and then a main check-in window that will be available. Anyone that wants to do drop-in, open skating, Drop in hockey, drop in soccer, basketball. Check out a computer in the eSports Center. As we get up here a little bit more, you'll see we've got restrooms, small vending area in here. So once the roof starts going on, you can see we're getting buttoned up, soon to be watertight. You can dry out this interior mud and get ready for interior slabs to be poured. This lobby area is 40 feet across by 30 feet tall, 309 feet long. When we walk in, as we've talked before, this is the main entrance. It's gonna be solid glass, two sets of glass walls, floor to ceiling, Wall to wall, you'll be able to look right in to the main arena. As I walk over towards our meeting room space, out the front doors, again, we're gonna have 3,500 square feet up here in the come and go community rooms. These rooms, think of them as a Hotel banquet room. Carpeted floors. All the audio video you would need. As you can see here, crews are getting the roof dresses up, getting ready to put the roof panels in place. Out front, construction continues to move along. We've got the majority of all of our north parking is complete. Crews are working along the east side of the building, parking, and then they'll be down to the south side. So again, any questions you might have, feel free. Send me an email, shoot me a call. Our website, therecplex.com, has all my contact information.
Over here we walk towards the eSports Center. Again, 3,500 square feet in the eSports Center. 30 high-powered gaming PCs, six consoles. That'll be in here. We're gonna have flat screens on the walls. This can be rented out by the hour per computer, or you can rent the whole thing out, whether it be a birthday party, corporate event. We'll walk back out here into the basketball courts, and you can see, again, this facility as a whole, just under 300,000 square feet. A massive facility set on 66 acres of land. Right now we're into the basketball court area again. We've got three full-size basketball courts. These courts are gonna be striped for both basketball and volleyball. We can fit six volleyball courts on this end, another two on the far end. That gives us eight built-in volleyball courts. But more than that, we're also gonna have portable flooring. We can cover part of the indoor turf and put in additional events, conventions, trade shows, we can add temporary basketball courts or volleyball courts. So we'll start seeing some progress, some really quick progress here in the next couple weeks as crews finish up all this underground work, get the interior slabs poured and get some progress made on the interior. We appreciate everyone listening again. Any questions, therecplex.com. Shoot me an email, give me a call. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks again, everyone, and stay safe.